Ah, ladies and gentlemen, hello. I'm Phil, the storyteller. And I'm Will, the music teacher. Now, we have stories for you today and we have songs for you today. Um, and the first story, uh, I'm going to need a little bit of musical accompaniment mm -hmm. because there's a character in the story that needs a little bit of theme tune. It's a mouse. A skipping along, looking around, happy kind of a mouse. What can you do? Skipping along, looking around. Some sort of a rhythm like that. Yeah. Look at that. Resonates so much, it's giving us a sort of floating sort of uh, sound that we needed something a little bit more spiky and scuttly for the mouse. If I dampen these keys with my arm just so they're not going to resonate so much, let's listen to that again. That's great, that's better, that's better. It's better. Well, let's start the story, Will. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a mouse. And the mouse, he scurried about, getting little things for his nest. He wanted to make his nest warm, but also he was looking for food. What a very pleasant life he had there in the sun, and his beautiful fur darting from one bush to another. And soon he found a gully out there on the savannah, and he was moseying down the gully, looking for bits and pieces, when suddenly he smelt the smell of yellow. And he knew what the smell of yellow meant. And he had to get away. He had to get some shelter. And he, tr he tried, but he couldn't move. His tail was caught. And he looked around. And there, blocking out the sun, with the massive paw on his tail, was a lion. And the lion said, well, 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 good morning, little one. How lucky it is for me to have met you today, because I haven't eaten yet. I haven't even had my breakfast. Oh, please, sir. Please, sir, don't eat me. Look, we're surrounded by so much food. Look at the fruit. Look at the mangoes. Look at the alfalfa. Oh, yes, said the lion. I see the fruit. I see the mangoes. I, and I, I, I see the alfalfa. I do. But look at me. I'm a meat-eating machine. I can't do with any of that alfalfa. Look at the way I move. Look at my grace, look at my power, look at my shoulders, which are ferocious, and look at my head. Because being a meat-eating machine, I am built around my teeth. And look at my teeth, little one. The mouse looked up, and he saw them, the lion's teeth. They were large, sharp. Strong, thick, deep. And the mouse said, please, sir, don't eat me with your big teeth because I'll only get stuck between your teeth. That's all. You won't get the satisfaction of crunching me. And when I go down to your belly, well, you'll hardly notice me. Oh, yes. Yes, that's quite right, little mouse. I won't notice you if I eat you. If I didn't eat you, I wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> it's true about my teeth. It's true about my magnificence. And um, it's true that you won't fill me up. So um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I don't need to eat you, little mouse. And everyone according to their needs. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Everyone according to their needs. Yes, after all. We're not hyenas, are we? <laughs> well, good morning to you, little mouse. I'm going to let you go, but remember how things work 
around here. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, the mouse had it on his toes. He ran so quickly. He found a hole. He got into the hole and his heart was banging in his chest. At least he was safe now. But that was close. And the lion didn't eat him. Just another day of being alive. And he would never forget the fright. Well, the next day, he put his head out of the hole. And he looked around. Mice have to be brave. It's a dangerous world. And out he came and started looking for bits and pieces for his nest. Well, it was hard to get food around here, so he went further and further along the gully until his nostrils filled with the smell of yellow. He froze. It was the lion again, but this time he heard noises. Oh, 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 oh. Noises of struggle, noises of pain. He went behind a bush and saw the lion. But the lion was in a net. The lion had fallen into a trap. The lion was trying to get out. He was crying and he couldn't get out. The mouse approached. The mouse said, Good morning, sir. The lion said, What are you doing here? Can't you see? I'm done for. No one can help me. Stop looking at me. I am shamed. I've been caught in this net. And my powerful shoulders won't work. My grace and movement won't work. My teeth won't work. I'm nothing. I'm like you now. I'm only small. And the mouse said, you are small like me, but I am built around my smallness. That's what makes me powerful, said the mouse. And the mouse ran up onto the net where the lion was caged. And the mouse started to gnaw the net. And then another one. The lion said, I see what you're doing, mouse. Carry on, carry on. One more, one more and I'll be free. The lion was free. The lion got out of the net and looked at the mouse and said, Mouse, do you trust me? And the mouse said, Well, you know, kind of, sort of, maybe. Mouse, mouse. Trust me, get into my mouth. The lion opened its enormous mouth and the mouse shrugged and jumped in. Inside the lion's mouth was hot and wet and he felt the lion's power resting on the lion's tongue. The lion shut its jaws and it went dark and the lion began to run. The mouse held on to the lion's bumpy tongue And then the lion stopped and opened its mouth. The mouse jumped out and the lion said, I've taken you to a better place, mouse. Look around, you see, all the alfalfa you can eat. But farewell, my friend. I have learned my lesson. I will never dismiss anyone because I think they're small. Farewell, said the mouse, and thank you. You've taught me a lesson. Being small can also be very powerful. And the mouse ran on his way through the fields of alfalfa. Well, my dear friends, that's the end of the story. Thanks, Will. Thank you, Phil. I think that suited the mouse. That was a good little...
dancing, running, skipping, scuttling mouse. Yes. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone, from Phil the Storyteller. And Will the Music Teacher. Bye. Bye. -bye.